Islamic extremism, terrorism, nuclear weapons, acid attacks. Pakistan doesn't seem like a safe place to travel to. However, there is more of Pakistan than just violence. It is a country rich in history and culture. And so much beauty. This is the home of some of the highest peaks on earth. Putting fears aside, I travel solo to Pakistan and document my journey. I must be careful. I'm a former journalist with a tourist visa. But I want to experience Pakistan just like any other visitor. My first stop is Abbottabad. We got the news about uh, Osama bin Laden being killed here, but um, the interesting thing is okay. there are three churches and there is also a lot of military presence. The city is named after James Abbott, who founded it in 1853 when India was under British rule. But there is no doubt that Islam rules here. <laughs> While I visit a park, my guy, Ali, tells me about Osama bin Laden. Even we don't know that uh, the Osama bin Laden, he was here, he was here. Out of the blue, a man interrupts us to question Ali about me. He might be an informant pretending to be a civilian. Before we go, Ali continues to explain his position about Osama bin Laden's death. Killed over here, then they should show the uh, dead body. Even they didn't show us in me by through media. So therefore we don't believe that the, even the Osama bin Laden was here. We walk to Abbasar. It is still tense, although people start smiling at me. One of the vendors even offered me Pakistani food. The spicy shole. He at least not recommending for me to try Pakistani food, but I'm going to try Pakistani food. Okay. I didn't recommend, but <laughs> no water is. I'm not going to recommend water. Not far from there, we come across with this blue sign. It doesn't seem to stand out, but on right side there is a man. He's the most famous cricketer. And after that, there is a written Osama Burger. Osama is the Osama bin Laden, as it is famous here. So, Burger is a burger. And right down, if you come down, there is a written milkshake. Milkshake. Osama Burger and milkshake. Although there is nothing, no even debris, where Osama bin Laden's compound was, my Ali tells me that it's too risky to go there because the authorities could question us and even detain us. A un kilometro de aquí. Although I am a kilometer away from where the compound was, we are again interrupted, but this time by an angry soldier. Ali tries to explain to him while I pretend to be just a tourist. Fortunately, we managed to leave. Then Peshawar, the capital of the tribal belt, bordering Afghanistan and the home of the Pakistani Taliban. Due to the security situation, Often there are restrictions for foreigners to come here. This is a tribal area and therefore more conservative. Terrorist attacks can happen anywhere, anytime. I managed to get in thanks to Mustan, the director of tourism. The few women we see wear burkas instead of the traditional charwara kameez. The streets are full of life, but I'm recommended not to get off the car. I was told that in a bazaar like this, a Chinese tourist and her translator were killed recently. The presence of a foreigner brings suspicion and can trigger the anger of the radicals. Frustrated by the lack of freedom to explore, I go to Rawalpindi, the old capital of Pakistan, a few miles from Islamabad. Everywhere I go, they're asking me, what am I doing here? What is my job? They still look at me with uh, curiosity and suspicion. You can find anything on the streets, bazaars and busy shops everywhere. But what takes my attention are these colorful trucks. They look like beauty queens making the streets a runway. The truck art is a tradition that makes Pakistanis very proud. Abdullah invites me to check his truck out. The decoration cost him $7,000.
Vaya. I wanted the truck to look as beautiful and comfortable as possible. It is my home because I spend most of the time here. I keep on wandering around the streets. It is so hot that anything is okay to refresh, no matter how dirty or smelly. Uh, I have friends. Again, a police stops me to ask if I'm a journalist. I managed to get away with it and run into welcoming Pakistanis. They are curious. And so I became a celebrity in this bazaar. One drink. They offer me to drink, to eat. Some make fun of their reputation of terrorists and threaten me with this. I even found a matchmaker. A uh, new marriage. <laughs> but I'm not a Muslim girl. This man, Abdul, however, might have the solution of the problem. It seems that dates can turn me into a believer. In the prevention of the sin. Okay. I had some concerns while documenting this journey, but most of my experience in Pakistan was pure joy. I saw the country beyond the tragic and violent headlines. I experienced hospitality like no other. Thank you.